वेरी गुड इवनिंग सो आई हैड गिवन दिस क्वेश्चन टुडे रिलेटेड टू द नंबर ऑफ सिग्नल्स दैट आर ऑब्जर्व फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर मॉलिक्यूल ओवर ह्योर नाउ इवन दो वेन आई वॉज पुटिंग आउट द क्वेश्चन आई डिड हैव अ रेफरेंस बट वेन आई काइंड ऑफ लाइक सो सम अदर रेफरेंसेज देर वॉज नो वन कंसेंसिस दैट मीन्स देर आर नॉट पॉइंटिंग आउट टू वर्ड्स वन पर्टिकुलर आंसर um in none of the references they had particularly mentioned how many number of signals you will observe for this particular molecule because uh the signals that will be observed for these protons will be very close to one an- one another right and then there are a lot of other things that could happen there could be a ring flipping over here in the trans 1 2 dimethyl cyclohexane even though uh, they will prefer the equatorial position both the methyl groups okay and the confirmation where both of them are going to be in the axial position is very very um like the ring flipping that is going to happen will be very very difficult and ma- the majority of the product will uh, will exist in the form where both the methyls are in the equatorial position having said that still there is a, there is a lot of ambiguity as to how many number of signals will be observed okay so there are a lot of things to consider over here and there's no one clear cut answer or there's no one particular reference which sh- says that these are the number of signals in case if you have any reference which says that any authentic reference do let me know but i could not find any such reference which which points me okay this is the exact answer so what i would do is i would like to reframe this question and ask you in this planar structure okay if you consider this not in the chair conformation but to be in the planar structure how many number of signals do you, would you observe theory on a from a theoretical perspective so before we start off with the question of the day uh some one i had requested or in fact a few of you had requested that i take the um you know i record the video on the white screen so if you like th- this better do let me know in the comment section that you want to see the videos in the white screen okay anyway let's start off with the question so what we have to do is um we basically need to find out um if we consider this as the planar structure okay then we have a methyl over here above the plane and one methyl over here below the plane so if you are considering the um planar structure of course this molecule will have a c2 symmetry which is passing through this over here right so it will have a c2 symmetry right so if this molecule has a c2 symmetry um you have to understand that we have a methyl over here sorry hydrogen over here below the plane and we have a hydrogen over here above the plane right so now what can happen if it has a c2 symmetry then this if you if you rotate it by a c2 axis by 180 degree so this hydrogen which is above the plane will go below the plane and this methyl which is above the plane will go behind the plane so what you will observe is that these two hydrogens will become homotopic okay so if our uh, if two particular groups they can be a kind of like rotated around the c2 axis and we end up with the same molecule then we can say that those particular groups are homotopic right so these two methyls are going to be homotopic and these two hydrogens are going to be homotopic right so based on that we can say this methyl protons will show one signal so i'll write down one over here and these two hydrogens the one in green will show one signal so we have till now we have two signals okay now what about these two hydrogens that are present over here let's say i draw one hydrogen in um, black color okay and i draw one more hydrogen in orange okay this hydrogen the one in orange and the one in black then they are distereotopic okay because we already have a chiral center present over here and over here which is fixed okay it's not going to change so if i change this proton over here and if i change this proton over here they are going to have a distereotopic relationship okay. um if you are not familiar with how to find the topicity like what exactly is the relationship between two protons i would refer you to uh, one of my videos for which i'll give you the link somewhere over here so just have a look at, the, at that video how to find the topicity right so anyway based on that we can say these two protons are going to be distereotopic okay similarly on the similar on the similar side this hydrogen over here and one more black hydrogen um once i draw over here these two are also distereotopic what will happen is that since this molecule has a c2 symmetry this hydrogen over here the one in orange and this one in black okay they are these two are going to be homotopic and these two are also going to be homotopic on the similar side this hydrogen over here and the one that i draw in orange these two are also going to be homotopic this one and this one they are going to be homotopic and these and these are going to be homotopic so based on that homotopic protons we know are going to basically um show the same signal so if we consider that so this orange one will show one signal 3 this uh, black one will show one signal 4 similarly this hydrogen over here will show uh, one signal Th- they both are homotopic so they are going to show the same signal and these two are homotopic so they are going to show so same signal and then 
this black one over here will show one signal this orange one will show one signal this black one is and this hydrogen have homotopic relationship so this will also show that same signal and this orange hydrogen will also show the same signal so overall we can say the number of signals that will be observed for this particular planar structure is six under the chair conformation then we have to consider a lot of factors like for example if the ring flipping is going to take place then how much conformation uh, of molecule will exist in the equatorial position okay where both the methyls are equatorial and in how much conformation will uh, the molecule exist which will have the axial conformation so depending on that the number of signals can vary and there is no uh, consensus or there's no reference as such which says that these are the number of signals that are observed for this molecule okay it's very difficult because these protons like i said um are very close to one another the chemical shift values are very close to one another and because of that um it is very difficult to say that how many number of signals are going to be observed exactly right so um so i would like to like i said reframe the question and i would say that how many number of signals are observed for this particular planar structure then i can say on a theoretical uh, from a theoretical point of view that the number of signals that are going to be obtained are six so anyway i hope you found this video helpful um if you did uh, please give it a big thumbs up and uh, if you like this question of the day series do let me know in the comment section so that i can make these questions more frequent and maybe post it every alternate day so yeah that's about it um i'll see you in the next video really soon uh, with another topic if you have some other to some topic in mind do let me know again in the comment section right hey guys so i'm a verified educator on an academy and along with that i'm also available on the unacademy plus platform where i'm taking live classes along with other educators so in case you're interested in attending the live classes you can subscribe to the unacademy plus platform using my referral code that is SETHI SETI and that will give you 10% discount all right and in case you're not interested in attending the live classes you can watch the free courses that are available on the unacademy for that all you need to do is go to the unacademy website or download the unacademy learning app and search my name over there that is ace haiti once you do that you will get the access to all the free courses that are available on the unacademy platform